South America is a biodiversity superpower. It's a region with unusually rich and diverse wildlife and an impressive wealth of ecosystems. It contains six of the 17 most megadiverse countries in the world. But unfortunately, this enormous natural capital has not been sufficiently valued or strategically used until now. The rapidly expanding economy of the region is heavily dependent on the export of natural resources and agricultural products. So the main challenge facing the continent today is how to reconcile economic development with conservation. Much of South America's deposits of oil and gas are found in areas rich in biodiversity, such as the Yasuni Biosphere Reserve, as well as other regions of the Andean Amazon. But it's not only the Amazon. There are also threats in the Andes and the Guyana Shield region in the northeastern corner of the continent. All of these areas are rich in mineral deposits. Farming and the expansion of the agricultural frontier in the absence of strong environmental institutions places increasing pressure on tropical forests. Then there's a thirst for electrical power. This has gone hand in hand with the construction of large dams to generate hydropower, which may harm aquatic biodiversity. And finally, the increased demand for biofuels has been accompanied by the expansion of oil palm and sugarcane into areas packed with nature, such as Colombia's Orinoco region. Our goal is to expand not only IUCN activities in South America, but also our network of offices working with IUCN members and governments in different countries across the region. We recently opened an office in Brazil, and we hope to place IUCN staff in more countries, starting with the southern cone of South America, Argentina, Chile, Paraguay, and Uruguay. We deal with reality, and the reality on this subcontinent is that the private sector and market forces to a large extent determine the impact of economic development on the environment. It's crucial that IUCN engage with the private sector in coordination with governments to reduce the negative impact on biodiversity. Working closely with indigenous communities, we aim to focus on issues that have a regional dimension such as shared watersheds in the Amazon, the Plata River Basin, and the Orinoco. And finally, IUCN wants to be at the heart of bringing about regional agreements on cross-border environmental impacts of economic activities, such as dam construction, mining, and oil extraction. 